So I, uh, I'm now finishing the video. Unfortunately, the, the video that I did before, it got cut off. Um, the phone lost the battery. And um, actually, I had, I had a very good conversation with him all the way to the end, and um, a lot of it got cut, cut off. So. But, um, so I just want to go back to, to the, the display here. Um, so the display here represents, uh, you know, I, took, I finally took Jesus, um, well, my, my, my version of Jesus, off the cross, and he felt really good about that. Uh, put him in kind of a place where he's comfortable now and not not bleeding to death on a uh, on a mirror on a, on a cross right? and Just make sure there's not the police okay. right um, And then and then uh, the cross is just kind of back there and that's wood and it's kind of just like um, You know, it's just kind of like getting going back into the into into the uh, mother earth she, She's accepting it back because it really wasn't the, the, the wood um that that um, you know that Jesus hung on, uh, bleeding to death, uh, that really hurt him. It was it was the, the human beings that put him on there. So now he's much more comfortable, uh, in you know in his resting place now here. Um, and then of course you know he's not hanging. I mean I mean you know he kept on telling me he's like, yo I've been on here for like, you know, to what is it two thousand years now? It's two two thousand twenty two years. Now. Uh, you know, give or take a, a year or two. Um, so um, he said, like, please get me off, man. This, I didn't want to go back on here. Um, when they, as soon as I got off, and I told him about, uh, rec um, uh, you know, the, the, you know, um, I told him about like really um, uh, reincarnation, which is I, le I learned from the Eastern cultures. Uh, they confused it with some kind of like, you know. Uh, I resurrected or something. I don't know. I came back as a spirit just to talk to to them, and they, you know, they just kind of messed with that. And then I, I don't know what happened with, you know, with. Uh, and I explained to him all the the the, the, the church and the books and the, and all the, all, the, all the different versions of the stories. And like, wow. So he was very, it's very like. Um, I don't know. He's kind of was kind of like not not very happy about, um, especially what they did. To the tribal culture, so that you know, that's why I did that, and you know, and and you know, I, I went back to putting the uh, the display. Let's see if I can make it like okay, the display um, more of a um, you know um, something that that represents the tribal cultures that um, that he, that you know he he um, I asked him, I was like, did you in any way, shape, or form tell these people to slaughter? Um, you know, in, in the name of like accepting you as the ultimate son of God, it's like, no, not at all. Um, I, I don't even know where they got that information from. Um, I am, I'm, 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 he's really sorry about that. And he's like, you know, he's good now. He's really, he's, he's warm. He's just, he's just kind of chilling right now. Um, um, and he's like, no, 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 uh, over and over and over again. And I said, no, you know, I try to tell him, but then, you know, this is this is what happens, you know. Um, you know, entire religion is based on something that a man wrote and then believed was the uh, the way to to really do the things that they knew to do, you know. Um, to somehow uh, make people believe that uh, I was trying to say, "Are you the ultimate son of God?" No, I never said that. I said we were all children of God and. Um, and you know, I'm son of God because we're all children of God. They guys mis misrepresentation of the words um, by the followers that ended up um, writing the books that they then turned into a religion and became powerful, um, you know, um, throughout the ages and uh, and controlling and 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 doing the things that. I did not in any way want them to do, uh, nor my f our father or, you know, um, uh, God never wanted them. I mean, if anything, I wanted them to understand that every human being on this planet, every uh, life form, that's what God said to me, is like every life form um, is should be treated as the most precious um, thing that we we have as 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 children, right? Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know where they got that from. I believe it has something to do with the monetary system that you were trying to tell them. Um, 
um, and, and the fact that they, uh, you know, value money more than human life, right? That thing is the thing that ended up um, creating, I mean, dude, 2,000 years hanging on a cross, I'm not even sure what. I mean, they, they, they wear it around their necks and, and say to them, and say to each other that, you know, uh, you know, I, you know, he, did you did you die for? I, they, they believe that you died uh, to abolish their sins. Is that? Nah, man, I died because they they kill me, bro. Yeah, I know. That's that's what I believe too. Yeah. So, um, and I try to tell them that, and they like, you know, I mean, I don't know. They put me in a. a, 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 a I, I told you, did did you have uh, did you have uh, places where they considered you insane? No, no, they crucified you, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they can't do that now anymore. Yes, there's laws against, uh, just like the you know the Jewish law and the Roman law. There's laws now against that by the uh, by the, the the ruling class, and um, and so you can't just crucify someone anymore. But you can actually take them and, and stick them into uh, cages. We have cages now. Did you didn't have cages back then, right? We have cages. Well, like, yeah, the cages that, that that the Romans put you in, uh, the cages, and then they also. Um, they, they put them into places where now they, they give them medication, things that, that will make them um, not, not say the things that they don't want them to say. Because, you know, throughout reality and throughout this, 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 this system that we, we call a, um, there, there's, different re, there's different religions, you know, and uh, they believe that they believe in whatever uh, God that they believe in, that you, know, you had, you know, we were the, you know, from the Israeli God, and they became the Christian God, and, and then, you know, there's, there's the, there's the, uh, there's the, um, you know, there's the um, um, uh, Muslim God, and then there's the, um, uh, I believe there's, there's I, they believe that the Buddhists don't, Buddhists don't believe in a, an energy source, and then there's the, the gods, um, and then there's one God, but there's also the gods of the Hindu religion. And there's a whole bunch of other religions that believe in different, different like, but all different kind of things. And then, and somehow they got that. Okay, let me see. That somehow they got the idea that um, that their God specifically told them that it was okay to slaughter other religions um, because um, because they didn't believe and and they worked against their God. So, in, in, in other words, I, 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 do you know anything more than there's only one God? No, it's one energy source, it's something in the universe, it creates all life, and that is totally a man thing. Uh, it's, like, it's like why they put me on a cross, you know, and, and crucified me, because I attacked, um, I, I attacked their greed. It's like, you know, I, I, I look at the story, uh, uh, and, and I see, like, you know, there's, there's the, the, there's the Judas thing with the money. There's the, you, you destroyed the, t- the, the marketplace and temple, and then they crucified you because they, you destroyed the temple. So those are the three things that, that, that ring true very much in your story. Yeah, and that, that's, that's the one. I mean, I ended up on that cross. I was not supposed to be on that cross, being to that thing. And uh, when I got back up to there, I mean, I told him, I said, yo, there, there. They, and he went like, what, they did? He said, well, I'm not going to send you. You're not going back down there, uh, like, ever. <laughs> Yeah, but he did send other ones, but they they somehow didn't make it either. So, um, yeah, um, so so you know I'm doing all this this this, this tribal stuff to to let let him present that you know that you actually did you know believe you were I mean because you're about I mean I tell him why are you going to read a book about your story and then and carry something and saying this is this is my Messiah and he is so loving and caring that he convinced. Um, the the priest to send crusaders and and people uh, and people out there to slaughter anyone that didn't believe in me. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's what they did, and that's what they continue doing today. You know, uh, because of money, because of the things that they they hold more valuable than you were saying. Like like uh, they chose greed over spirituality. That's when I you know greed over spirituality, and that's why they crucified you and they killed you because. Um, you 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 attack that, and uh, and every time and anybody that attacks it now here, they're, they're considered what they consider um, um, not pro, not not able to function with normal society, and they take them out and they, they put them in places and they give them medication, um, and then, and anybody that I talk to, um, that um, that kind of like understands this, they always say the same thing to me: What can we do about it? Change it. Right, but there's no way of changing something. Uh, gee, there's no way of changing something uh, that is um, 
um, that that <laughs> that values um, that something more than human life, right? Because no matter what, if you have a month for that something, then that something is going to end up killing the message that you know that you wanted. Yeah, yeah, again, that happened to you, so you know, right? <laughs> so. Um, yeah, nice conversation. He's just resting. He's not dead, man. I mean, there's no, there's no, your know, dolls don't die, you know. Um, and, and, um, um, he just kept on telling me, get me off of this cross, please. And I, and that's, you know, what's sad is that I kind of heard that a bunch of times looking up. I'm like, really? Why is that there? But, but like, he's been yelling it for the last 2,000 years and nobody, nobody, not one person heard him. Or maybe some of, some of the other ones, oh yeah, we don't, we don't actually follow, the, the, we just follow the, the cross itself, not the body on the cross. So what was your message is, love each other, share, share equally, and then, and, then, and then find ways to, um, to uh, share that love. And, uh, and don't hurt each other. And don't, don't value anything more than human life. But well, back then it was just human life for him because, you know, he ate lambs. And now we have, you know, ways to do all life. Right? Because, I, you know, I, I, you know I, talk, I, talk to, I talk to God all the time, too. It's like, yeah, we all do, right? Yeah. No, they don't. You know. But if they did, right, uh, it, would be, it would be the same thing that, that I hear from a tree, right? Like if one thing, I, it was kind of funny, gee, um, a tree itself, right? I consider the tree itself gives me oxygen, right? So without oxygen, I cannot breathe. So I consider the tree actually God, right? Yeah, yeah you like that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's, it's like, yeah, because the tree is God and everything is God. And every human being that you slaughter is God. So if you slaughter human beings, you're slaughtering God. So you cannot pray to a God that you end up slaughtering. You don't believe that human being is God? That's the problem. And that's why you continue slaughtering them. And wars for money, for greed, enslave them, make them keep them poor. Or you remember you said that to Judas, right? You can't end the, end the poverty. Or you didn't say that to Judas. You see, a lot of things that, that, that those men wrote, he didn't say. He, they just added it in. His message was simple. Just like the God's message. Money is the root of all evil. That's about the only thing in that book that's right. Everything else is just kind of like man telling you, you know, how to like make sure that you come and because if you think about it, gee, tribal cultures, right? They didn't have Bibles, right? Like tribal cultures never had Bibles or books to teach them. They that was a knowledge that they had from their ancestors and, and which what and there's a Indians are oh, hey, uh, the Native Americans are always, we have ten commandments. Uh, one is that, uh, don't skin, don't, 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 uh, don't, uh, um, uh, don't, uh, no, they didn't, man. Why? Because it's, 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 it's really easy. Look around. Do the trees have ten commandments? No, right? Do any, does anything else have ten commandments or any commandments from God? No. And we have the brains and we think that they don't, right? A tree gives me oxygen and provides me for free oxygen, right? For free. And without that oxygen, I'd be dead, right? That is God. A human being that, that pro charges me, to live, profits off of me? <laughs> they didn't get that from no guy. They got that from down there. I tell them, I say, um, what... <sighs> It's like, what do they expect to find in heaven that is anything like it's here? Nothing. So instead of creating what's in heaven, what they expect, they create what's in, what they don't want. Right? It's another good one, right? I don't know. I try to say all these things to them in, in different ways, and they all always do the same thing. It's like, I'm, I'm crazy. Ooh, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. So... Um, I don't know, I can go all the night, man. But I just wanted to, just to explain that, that I took him off the cross, finally, after um, 20, I mean, somebody had to, right, G? And he said, like, he's been, he's been telling these people for, for and all they, all they do is, like, uh, they, they ignore the, the, what he says, 
and then they just do what they need to do for money. I told them, religion, everything that has money, right, is going to be corrupt. Like Just like that, that marketplace in front of the temple. The reason you destroyed it was because it was corrupt in the temple, right? And then they got pissed off that you, you destroyed it, and then they crucified you. So that's about it, man. That's that right? That's what, that's what he's telling me. That's about it. Anything else you're getting from that? You're getting that from the people that wrote the books that want to make sure you don't understand what you are as human beings. Right? That's it. And the reason they don't want you to understand it is the more you know about what you are as human beings, the less they can keep you there doing what they need you to do. What do they need you to do? Work, work, work until you die. Right, <laughs> is there any is there any money in heaven? <laughs> He's laughing. He's like, no. <sighs> and it's really not that funny. It's really not anything more than um You ain't got much time left. And this is the way it's going to go. It's what he's trying to tell you 2,000 years ago. It'll give you a lot of time. But yeah. all those other ones they sent down, they were trying to tell you. He's like, no. I'm here trying to tell you. No. After a while, it's like, you can't do it, then you can't do it. You can't take that knife and, and you know, that's, that sword you have stuck inside of you. And pull it out and say, I don't need it anymore? No. It's going to take it to your grave and it's going to take everything. Everything. Everything away. Hey. You know, I miss, I miss where I'm from. Where we're from. Every day. Did you keep on asking him to pull you out? Yeah, right. You didn't expect that to be pulled out in that way, right? Yeah. He didn't need it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then they based an entire religion off that. See? He, our Messiah died for our sins. Get it? Is it? So we got to pray to him. Say, really? What God do you think sent you down a Messiah that you then you crucified and said, and said, oh, you see, that was a good thing? It's ridiculous. It's a story. I'm trying to teach you something. Instead, it, it made you not understand what you are, right? Not understand what you are to the point where, where what you really are becomes um, unnecessary. How many souls are here? Seven billion. Right. Un, uh, yeah, they're, they're evolving slowly, ascending slow, but not, they're not really. They keep that poverty class. They keep that wealth class. Yeah, we have a same thing was with the with the with the with the Romans in real time. But, yeah. You know how much can you say the same thing? Over and over again, Jesus, right? How much can you say the same thing over and over again? Until you don't have any time left. Because you used it all. Chasing money into hell. So, I, so I, again, I, the conversation I had with the other gentleman was, was, was really good. I'm sorry, I got cut off at a really good point. But this was my, 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 my attempt to, to um, um, I don't know, to get your Savior off that cross. <laughs> and maybe, maybe he'll come back this time. No, he said, no fucking way, man. Because, you know, you are, your, you are the Messiah and money is the Antichrist, like I said. Right? Yeah. You are the Messiah and money is the Antichrist. It's your choice to either become the Messiah and save your civilization or allow 
the Antichrist money to, to basically <laughs> ride you into hell. Take over the entire civilization and destroy it. How many before? Countless civilizations all get to this point and they don't get no further. Why? Because there's no future with a monetary system that values something more than human life or planetary life or any life. And once you realize that to the point where you, you, you just can't, it might be way too late. So, teaching that to your children and, and, and the ones that understand changing it today might be your only chance. Because in a hundred years from now, you might be a hundred years too late. And you don't care? I know. Because you don't believe it? Like, okay. Then, then follow money into hell. Continue stressing over the thing that will bring you from... from birth to death not understanding what you are how you belong here and how you evolve out of here you're not going to heaven guys at your death there's no heaven at your death there's a karma cycle right yeah, that's what he learned from, from the Buddhist that he was trying to explain but he just couldn't he had to figure out ways to do it and then they, then they completely messed it up with the books See, you see, you follow books written by men about, about these guys and then ignore the messages that these guys actually said because you know the message he said and that message was not to do what the Catholic religion, what any, the Jewish religion, the Muslim, any religion that fights another human being, that kills another human being. That is not any message of a creator that put you or me on this planet. But it is. It is a message that our society gives us. Go out, make some money, earn more than your fellow man, profit, take what Mother Earth gives you and charge each other for it to the point where you're eating your own tail into oblivion. You think that's what God wants you to do? You don't believe in God? Okay, good luck. You, yeah, you got created somehow. You believe those scientists, they'll tell you, hey, don't worry about it, there's no God. We got it going on, we can control. If, there, if anything happens, we'll just take, a, uh, we'll take the, the, the planet and we'll just ride it into, into space. guys working hard, you know, every day. You guys have a good day. Have a good day, brother. You think that, that God wanted some of his children to be that? and then some of his children to, to live up there. They're, those are not his children. These are his children. And those up there are things that are, are making you know, this happen. Because that, we, we could have electronic, we could have the, the technology do all, everything we needed to do. But you know, that, would, that would make it too simple. Instead, we have human beings that, that, are, that are forced into becoming poverty forever. And ever, I mean, I don't know. Well, how do you get out of poverty? When there's seven billion, when seven billion poverty, three quarters of a billion, yeah, we have three quarters of, you believe that? Middle class, and then you have a, two, 2,000 billionaires that control everything. How does, how does that happen? It's more like, how do you let it happen? I can tell you how to stop it. What is it? 
remove wealth that creates it. You don't want to do that? You think there's an, there's an either way? If you just pay poverty, it'll, it'll, so, you know, it'll, be, it'll be better? I'm thinking if you remove the thing that causes poverty, wealth, then it will be uh, gone. Hey, hey, do you think, does God want poverty? No, 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 no. He never wanted poverty. He wanted sharing. What, what the tribal cultures did, with all the, the ones that didn't have a monetary system. Everything else in the system in the, doesn't have a monetary system, works fine without a monetary system. Actually, fine, works fine without humans. <laughs> humans have a monetary system, and we got all these problems, man, right? So, uh, how can you say the same thing over and over? You can't. So, I'm, I'm going to end it now. I, you know, with so much, I, I, the, the phone lost battery. You know, had a great conversation with this gentleman. Great conversation with this gentleman that then got cut off. So, there you go. Somebody had to take him off that cross. So I did it against your will. And he's saying, thank you so very much. And you won't be seeing him anytime soon. Again. I don't even know, man. I can't, I can't, I don't, you know. I get to the point where it, where it comes fluid and then it just, and then it just, and this is why I know that what I get, I get from God. I get from a, this source that's like flowing, right? Flowing. Yeah, just ask one of those priests and ask any, any, any one of those people that have a religion that has a monetary value. Uh, that, 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 that it's like there's, there's money involved. Ask any of them to do this, right, without reading the book, right? And they'll, and they'll be like, yeah, God says he loves us. And he doesn't want all this stuff to happen. But then why did we let it happen? I tell him, amen. All right, so um, I don't know. I'm, I'm done for the night. Good night. I wanted to actually continue what I was doing before, but but I, I let so much time pass in between, and I'm having I'm having like so many like, like you know when you when you understand so clearly what it is to be out there, when you understand so clearly what it is that's out there, and you literally go out there and go like, wow, I, I this is wrong, and um and that's how I'm feeling right now. It's like I just. I'm not depressed, and I, I just, I just, it just, it just, it's all wrong, man. And and there's, you know, other than this, there's nothing I can do. And this guy's like, yo, do as much as you can because that's all we can do, right? That's all we can do. That's all. That's all he could do. And you know, you know what happened to him. So, so I, so it's all, it's all what every anybody can do. And I'm not just saying that that I'm that I'm, that I'm, that I'm saying that that the every listen to the other videos and listen to these words and and and, and actually listen past the mania or whatever you think that my my time like my high energy thing past that and and actually listen to the words and you will see that that is exactly what the solution is to our our impending doom as a civilization whatever it is we're heading for that that brick wall and we're going to hit that brick wall. And even though we know that we're going to hit that brick wall, it's like, why are we going? Because we have to. There's no other way out. So there is another way out. And you know what it is. You know, and, and, and you want to do it as quickly as possible because you just don't have that much time left. How do I know personally? If I told you that, you wouldn't believe me anyway. And if you're not hearing that yourself right now, and you're not feeling energy, it's because of the medication that they gave you. Because those those billionaires, they do not want you. Because they will ride off into the space into space with their ships, and they'll watch it all crumble, and then come down and repopulate. You know, if it needs, if that happens. But you know, he, but he, he, they actually think that, that if there's a god, that, that something's going to wipe out their whole planet, that 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 uh, they're going to get away. No, of course not. But they'll try. 
But no matter what, they could have changed, right? They could rewrite. They could change what you have taught. They can actually take everything they have and just like devalue it, come down to us, you know, you know, instead of having that, those, 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 those mansions, you just have, you know, the, the show, right? Yeah, all that. So it's great. We're, we're all going to have middle class houses for free, and we're going to, yeah, yeah, all the way through. But they will not do it because the thing that makes them more important than you right, is the things that they've convinced you is more important than human life. So as long as you believe that the thing that they convince you is more important than human life, then they will have the power. And they will continue, um, I don't know, just like that serpent in Adam's ear, just saying all that stuff, that will then um, stunt, <laughs> stunt the growth of, of the souls. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, and, the, and the ascension of the souls, but also stop the civilization from, from getting to that point. Mother Earth says no more than, I don't know, 11, 12 billion. We're 7 billion, 8 billion now. We're going to get that, Bruce, and it might be sooner than later. But there's a point where... where there's, the reason that there's so many human beings on this planet is because there's so many souls that have not ascended upwards because they're keeping information and knowledge from you by telling you you're going to die and go to heaven or hell. Right? Expecting that. Do you think there's a guy that's like 7 billion poor? Oh, wow. They're all going to go to to, to heaven. Like they worked in miserable lives, and, and you know they they, they worked it, and they all this and all this stuff that they, they they had to deal with, and then at the end of it all, they go to heaven. Well, then two thousand of them, all I'm saying, because they 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 make sure that those those souls, you know, uh, knew that uh, when they died, they they go to heaven. <laughs> Get it? I I'm 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 whatever it is. I am. I'm tired, man. I think I'm tired. Tired. And you, you tired? He said he was tired. <laughs> he was tired thousands of years ago. And he had to watch um, us right? continue from across bleeding. And you put him back on. Metaphorically, literally, you take it as what it is. But no matter what, that is what you create your reality based on instead of, instead of everything else that's around us. And I've said this so many times in so many different ways. And I figure, why, why, do you, why do you keep on repeating it? Because I don't see no change in sight. Right? So I'll repeat it until, until they, they take me out of here or he gets me out of here. It's like, you're done? Yeah, it's, it's, there's no more time. Come on. He said, no. yeah, you want to take me out of here? He said, no, give me a little more time. I'm, I'm here doing it. I'm going to do it until I'm not going to make money off this. He said, I don't mind. Prophet, he said, I, I, this, is not, this is what you should be listening and hearing yourselves, but you're too busy chasing money into hell, profiting and, and doing whatever, everything that, they, that, 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 that these billionaire class wants you to do to continue the same thing. Over and over again. There's no difference between that billionaire class and the, and the, and the royalty class and whatever other class system existed where human beings believe that they're more valuable. The reason that they're more valuable because there's a monetary system, something, a coin, something that's making them more valuable than your children. And you're stupid enough to believe that those billionaires are more valuable than your children than you're stupid enough to, to, to hand their civilization to your children that are that, that probably going to end up dying. And, 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 you know, dying, believing that. <laughs> Good night.